why is it the vocalist of South Border keeps on changing? You know, that's a good question. You know, one thing about me, when I create music, I really shut myself out from the world. There's a rainbow always after the rain. Being a composer slash producer, arranger, para kang ano nun, supervisor, floor manager, board member. <laughs> You do all those stuff, you know. It's different if you compare it to uh, other countries. But, but nagiging sync na tayo with what they're doing right now. Before, it, it used to be hiwala yung trabaho ng arranger uh, separate from the producer. Now it's producing and arranging is, is, is one thing. And, and songwriting can be a, a whole package. Isang tao lang gumagawa. Unlike before, marami kang katrabaho. Iba yung producer nga, iba yung arranger, tsaka yung composer. Dapat mo malaman sa puso ko'y ikaw naman. With South Border, with the albums that we released, I've been uh, closely working with the singers. Like for the album, for the first album, it was with, uh, with Bricks. But mostly ako yung nagsulat. Sa second album, halos ako pa rin kasi umalis na si Bricks nun, si Luke nang pumalit sa kanya. But the third album, no, no, I, I think the fourth album, it's a different story. It's uh, with Vince and Duncan. So these guys are songwriters too. This is my passion and uh, I get paid doing this. I get to meet a lot of new people, new artists, and it's it's just a very, very good feeling when you're sharing music with anybody. The downside with that is the the time that it consumes. <laughs> you know, when you're in the studio, you would, wouldn't notice that you're there for three days na pala. <laughs> Something like that. But, uh, you know, it's all worth it naman. In the local industry, I find it much easier to uh, produce my own songs. It's so much fun, but it's also different when you're com- composing or arranging, producing for other artists. You you get to um, learn a lot. You get get to experience the evolution of you know these uh, newcomers, and their skills, and their talents, their creativity. It's up to you, the producer, to make it happen. So magkaiba, kaibang mundo. But I really had fun. I guess it's the uh, generation that I've experienced, I've seen. So I just adapt. And l- lately, I've been producing this new uh, boy group called SB19. I did their What and uh, Mapa, uh, co-produced that and arranged. I- I'm just so glad that I'm still <laughs> still in the game. I'm a co-producer, so the song is already, it has begun now when it came to me. Uh, so you're responsible with the finishing touches of the song, like adding guitars, and whatever rhythm or what's needed, piano. A very short relationship, lang, but it was good. Sometimes, because when you're in this age, na, <laughs> I've seen a lot of generations. Na, with South Border, I was just 15. It's a good feeling. It's a familiar feeling. Nung nakasama ko sila kasi I can see the drive. Yung hunger, the, the, the drive itself, the, the passion that's burning inside these kids. Uh, I can relate to that because we've, we've uh, experienced that as well. I will be right here by your side. Wherever you are. Why is it the vocalist of South Border keeps on changing? Siguro, I would say that I'm not really holding them in, in, <laughs> on the neck. They can leave anytime. They can, they can come back anytime. Because there are uh, moments that 
we uh, get re- reunited with the past vocalists. We are purely music, you know. We didn't come here to uh, to make forma. <laughs> One good example is Earth, Wind, and Fire. Toto, they had uh, numerous singers, but none of that matters. It's it's the music, naman. Eh. It, we are here for the music, and as long as people are are here to uh, listen to us, we'll, we'll keep going. Did you ever thought of leaving South Border and pursue a solo career? I tried that, but they always call me Uy, South Border. <laughs> <laughs> so, use. so that's why I retained the name South Border. Na lang. I came up with a, with a solo project, but that was just a, like a project, side project within the, uh, the existence of South Border, yung original members. May ginawa kong songs I grew up with. Uh, the title of the album. When when I came back from the States, I still pursued my music here and tried to establish J. Durias. But whenever people say, si South Border, yeah, wala na. Wala na talaga. <laughs> South Border na lang. Take a little time, baby. See the butterflies calling. When I create music, I really shut myself out from the world. I shut down from uh, listening to the radio. Uh, they're there na eh. Kung ano mang meron dyan. When, once I get down to writing, I try to listen to myself. I wanted to be isolated and talagang give me give me a room. One week, walang labasan, kaya ko yun. For me, it works. Hi, this is Jay Durias. Please like and subscribe to OG YouTube channel.